Hello, fellow Peruvians, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. Today, I'll be reviewing Doctor Who Season 10, Episode 2, Smile. At the beginning, the Doctor and Dale are just set uh, and tired, and Dale's asking a lot of questions about the TARDIS. Like, the Doctor need to, to sit down while he's navigating it and why he's having a steering wheel like that. And then Nargo comes in and says that Dr. White in the bomb in TARDIS and why he had built in there as well. And Dr. Just tells him to uh, pawn the kettle, making tea. And I was also going to saying that he won't take tea for Bill, make him herself. Then Dr. said, uh, offers Bill to go into the somewhere in the future, I don't really know what year. And they just go off. And the face they offer is like a city with robots in it, and the robots have uh, emoji faces. And they get Bill and the Doctor some uh, passes to put on their backs and just go off their mood. Um, when they look at the garden, they see like the workers that are supposed to be there. They're Dead. Like fertilizer, it's just their ashes and some of them, some of the, their skeletons are there. And this place is set when the earth is, uh, evacuated. So I'm guessing somewhere in the year 5 billion or something. Like, maybe it's the same time as, uh, Beast Below and that Tom Baker episode. That uh, had the green monster thing. So I was about to say the ads that come across the, from the ship before, so. Oh yeah, and I got the, the, the ear things that, that can talk to each other. But I don't know if they're mechanical or, or what. And it turns out the reason why the Mogi box or Avrail, I don't know. I guess that's the name of the book called Emoji Box. And while reading the kills of the people there, or the, the people that w were working there, because uh, the people experience, experience grief, for the, and they, the Emoji Box and you know how to handle it in their job, wants to make everybody happy and make the whole place paradise. So... This is what they did. Um, when Doctor had a plan to make this uh, explode, make the thing explode, and Bill find out, says some information about why the, what happened to the Earth, or what the people there, I find this kid, and Doctor sees there are some, some pods there, and everybody is like, hope oh, since he and Bill, and uh, what kind of woke up in the engine room. Or the, or the doctor puts the belly of beast. Um, then when the people find out what happened with the, uh, going on with the emoji box, they have, they get the guns. Why do they have guns? It's basically a paradise, so why did the evacuees of planet Earth bring guns? I not that sounds stone or anything. And then the kid that uh, Billy uh, Bill met leads to the belly of the beast, I think what they have. And sees one one of the emoji box and then goes to the the garden or whatever. And just keep out by his mom. And then when everybody finds him one of the flat on the Money box and Doctor realizes that the the money box starts and he's gonna reach uh, like a minus robot, even though the uh, nanobots that crave him do go the wall, but I don't know if that makes him wireless. Um, he just does this simple thing. He just puts the robot 
um, reboot. Or I guess, as I build, he says, or he said it in a scientific way, he just turned them on and off to um, rate the memories. And then he just acts as a goat there for the human race and the mode box. And um, they just leave with Bill dead. After uh, they just said, make a new civilization. And it usually does the sort of thing. They call him a police man. And when they in, he just said that uh, he lives in a police telephone box. So, there he is. And uh, when the doctor tanks, they landed at the same time that they uh, left. They're in London. It's known, and there's some sort of animal outside. I don't know. Hey, the episode is okay. It's a little bit better than the last one. And the nanobots in this is great. The, the emoji bots are a little bit funny. Um, I kind of like the way they uh, appear, like it's out of the wall. And it was a bit of the shock. Saying that there's actually humans uh, under the city or inside the some other part of the city, and the uh, chemistry between the quality and um, build after this was great, and the quality was great in a row. Well, I do think that Bill asked way too many questions for for trying to plan in for this whole adventure. Like I know the plans are supposed to be like. The characters that the doctor questions like, who's that? Or why do you do this? What's that for? And so like, that's what, I don't know. But I kind of like her reaction when she realized she's actually on a spaceship. It was a little bit funny. Um, I kind of like that she was the one that saw the doctor the ship log of uh, how it got, got here and what's the plan for and that actually got up there to figure out uh, how the motor bus uh, uh, killed everybody and why they're doing it. So, it's kind of a good episode. As we said, a little bit last week, but I think it is. And I get this uh, 6 out of 10. And next week, since they are into the future, now, the Doctor and Bill are on the past, and I find this uh, mysterious person known as the Ice Bender. And I talk about a, some sort of judge or a lawyer, I was guessing, since the person that Doctor talked to wearing the white, the uh, cold wig, like the one we always used to wear in, in the 1800s, 1700s, I and if they had to do it all today, I don't know. And hopefully, if this is, that sounds really good, so, we can have. Until then, I'll let you, and you guys, later.